All right, in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can change the navigation bar on your Android device, just as you can see over here. So for this to work, we're going to be using this app called Navigation Bar. I'll leave a link to it in the description. And uh, when you install it, just open it and follow the settings that I'll be showing you. So first of all, you want to tap on Agree. And um, next, you tap on Go to Settings. And for my device, I have to tap Downloaded Apps. And then I'll look for the app here, Navigation Bar. So I'll tap on it. And then I'll enable this. Then I'll tap here and wait for the countdown. I'll tap OK. And then, as you can see now, the navigation bar has changed to green and um, white. And you can change it to the colors you want. But for now, we'll tap on Open Display Settings. Next, we scroll until you find navigation bar. So I'll tap on it. And then I'll enable this. This is to make sure that the navigation bar is always displayed over other apps. Okay, so here are the settings that uh, you'll be using to use the app. So this is going to enable or disable the navigation bar. So for the height, it's just going to increase the thickness of the navigation bar. By default, or for my device, it is 147%. Or you can go low and see how tiny it is now. Or you go high. I like it at around um, 130. Let's say 132. Okay, it looks okay for me this way. Move up and down is just going to change the position of the navigation bar and the buttons. So I think zero is okay. Oh yeah, so zero percent is okay. And then if you want to adjust the distance between the buttons, you can adjust it from here. I think it looks okay like this for me. You decide how you want it. And finally, I like the back button on this side and the recent up button on this side. So we we'll tap on this to switch them. All right, so those are the things that I usually do at first. Then I change the color. So to change the background color, you can see the background color is green. You can change it by selecting this and then you choose the color you want. So for this, I want to try, you can try yellow. I already showed you guys the yellow one. So maybe I'll try blue. Okay, blue looks okay. You have other shades of blue down here. If you select any color, you'll see the different shades of the color. So I think I should go for something darker. Okay, so you can also change the transparency, but I wouldn't recommend doing this because it's just going to show the original navigation buttons. So just leave it this way and then you tap select. Next, you can change the button color. That means these buttons that you normally tap. So tap on button color. I think I'll go for black. As you can see, black is not here. So you can just look for a very dark color. Let's say this one. And then when you scroll, you find the darkest shade. So even this one too is dark. Okay, this one is black, so I'll tap on it. And now you can see it is black. So I'll select it and now it looks this way. All right, next I'm going to tap on this. We'll come back to this one, but for now we'll tap on theme to change what the buttons look like. And for me, I like this one because it makes it look very solid. This one just makes it look, I don't know, I don't like it. You may like it, but you can select any one you want. You can't use any of these ones because these are the paid ones. So you can either watch ads to use any of them, or you can pay for the premium version of the app to use the buttons here. But these are the free ones that you can choose from. And you can also, you know, choose any among the free ones. So if I tap on custom, I can decide that I want my back button to be this one. And um, I want the home button to be this one. And the recent buttons can be this one or this one. Depends on what you want. But for me, I like these ones. So yeah. All right, if you come to the action tab, you're going to get these options. And before I show you guys um, these options, I just want to let you guys know that uh, these buttons actually work. So if I tap here, I'm going to see my recent apps. If I tap back, it's going to bring me back. And if I tap home, I will be taken to my home page or the home screen. So yeah, the buttons work. But with these options here, you can decide what you want the buttons to do if you long press on them. So for the back button, you can Decide what you want it to do when you long press on it. So for me, I'm going to select launch web browser. So it should show me all the browsers that I have. And then I'll select the one that I want to use. I don't have to manually go over to my apps and then find the browser I want to use. So from here, I can just tap on Chrome or whatever app I want to use. But if I don't, I'll just tap cancel. You can also do the same for the home button. If you long press on it, what it should do. So the only option that I feel like would be really useful is the screenshot option, but you have to pay for the premium version of the app before you can use this option. So I'm not going to be able to show you that, but you can choose any other one you want, like 
launch dialer so you can long press on it and maybe call somebody if you want and so on so you can decide the ones you want that are free and uh, you can use them from here okay so the final thing i have to show you guys is that uh, if you swipe your notification panel down you're always going to see this notification and this is by the navigation app so the only way you can get rid of this is by getting the premium version of the app i've tried even using it the free way like i've tried to deactivate it but uh, as you can see this option that is used to deactivate notifications is grayed out so i cannot tap it to deactivate the notification so that's basically what you need to know before you decide if you want to use the app or not